Hello and welcome back to the Alteryx Weekly Challenge with me, Nick Bignall. This is challenge number 97. And today we are looking at creating um, a visual report or, or what, he, what is being called here a periodic table of uh, the, Daltri the Alteryx tools. So this is basically taking, oh, I'll go to the, if we go to the data set, what we can see is we are, our goal is to download it, an image assets uh, to make a table or visual table from from the web we have two options of how to download them one is that they are in a zip file um, which is more difficult and I did look at that um, and how you could do that it, it, it requires something like using James Dunkley's uh, macro that can do it um, or a much more simpler way which is what I'm going to do uh, is to basically use the URLs for the individual tools so we have a list of file names for each one and uh, the, uh, an overall host name and what we'll need to do is join them together so that we can then download those individual assets or um, images um, and then what we need to do is then join, once we've got that, is join them into this table here. And it says to, to join them in on the anchors, the background and the drive time. Uh, and obviously the symbol uh, so that we can build out this, this, this image here, I think. Sounds simple. Let's have a go. So first of all, what we want to do is take, this is just the one line. Uh, and here we've got the file name now what it says here is hint any spaces in the download request should have a plus instead of a space and any percentage symbols should have plus percentage should have percentage 25 now if we go down down, and down here we are so random percent symbol sample for example we need to deal with I think that's pretty much the only one but then there's loads of spaces in here so first things first take a formula from the file names and remove the spaces so file name and we can then just replace string and its file name and then the target is space space and the replace oh got t in there remove that um, and then replacement is simply the plus sign okay so that's that um, we also then want to do it again on the same thing we can just copy this uh, and what we want to replace there is percent and we want to replace it with percent 25 okay so what that will do is give us a new file name you run it yeah here we go so we've got API plus output okay and if we go down to wherever that percent is, where is it? I've gone too far. Uh, oh, there it is. We've now got this plus 25, percent 25 plus sample. Okay. So that should now work, he says. Let's just read that carefully. It's not a curve replace it with. So let's, let's see if that works. Um, what we want to then do is join them together. So we can not join them with that, but join them with a append. Now I'm going to swap them over the lines because, well, it just makes more sense to me that the one with the only one line is the source and the target is the one with all of these. Um, and what that will do is give us two fields, one with the host and then one with the actual location. So we need to join them together to create a proper URL. We'll just call it URL. Uh, so that here we take a host name and then we do a plus sign and then we need a slash. Which is obviously because it's a. Uh, and then another plus nine and then the host name. And then what we've got to enter, have at the end of these is look, dot png as it's got you know, api output.png should be api plus output.mpng so dot nope we need to plus it and then we put in dot png like that so we should now have our list of so if we expand that out so here's a list of our png files that we're going to go get 
So we're going to get them, we've done this before, so we're going to go to developer and we'll put down the download tool. Uh, we'll take the URL and we'll bring it in as a blob because that's what we want for uh, don't encode the URL text. Okay, um, I think that's less than I learned last time. And that will then download all of those uh, blobs, images. So let's just um, see how that goes. Just check we don't get any errors with that. Okay, I didn't see any errors. Of, so yep, so that looks good. Now what we want to do is convert that blob and this is blob converter. So convert from a blob. So we want to pass on that and we want to convert back to a PNG file. And if we put a browse at the end so we can see what we've done, we run that and that should give us the images that we want. So let's just see how that goes through. Okay, so now we have surrendering, yay! So we have all the images, it's the first 10 here, and there we go, right to the end, obviously. Oh, maybe not quite the end. Okay, so here's these sort of colors that we had. Oh, there's the car icon, and there we've got the connectors, okay? So, so that's good. So now we have to deal with the joins for these. So let's start with what we can see here. Actually, we can look in here. Is we've got all of these. So we've got tool name and then tool category, right? So we we've got the tool name in in here. So what we want to do is, I guess we want the rank as well and tool name, and then we can bring in each of these individual things in as we need them. Okay, so the tool name is, so what do we want to, does it say we want the category? I can't see, I can't see the category in here. Uh, and it just says that obviously the tool, the anchors, the background and the drive time overlay. Okay, so, so let's bring in a join. Join now. We don't want. We probably want to filter out. Which way around it should go? Uh, we've got a list of the yeah. We've got a list of the tools here, so we put that on the left side. Yeah. Um, but what we want to do is just select the. Otherwise, we're going to end up with lots of things we don't actually need. So it's a deselect all, and we just want those two, and then we can. We just join it by a wire. It will just be messy. Okay. Um, so then, what we want to join is on tool name as uh, with file name. Now, what do we have to join it on? We probably want. So, what do we have on the tool name? Uh, if we look here. Oh, it's not around. Here we go. Tool name. So we want. Action auto field, so it looks like this. Mm. So we want to, re we don't necessarily want to replace the, we could convert it back or we could keep the original file name. So let's just change this, I think. Let's just change this to be add column uh, tool. Uh, we'll do that tool. And then we'll do this and we'll call it tool at this point. And then what that should do, okay, so that's given us the, and then in this one, we can actually use the file name and it should, should match, he says. Okay, so let's run that, see what we get. Okay, so we've obviously got an issue here with this. Why is it not working? So URL blob tool join here. So 
really big tool. I wonder if we can just uh, make this a smaller string. That should be given as a. Well, look, this hasn't changed anything here. Okay, that's the issue. This hasn't changed at all. So why is that not changing? So replace file name. Ah, oh, I know, because we're overwriting it here. So we want to change this to tool. There we go. Right. Okay. Right. Now it should run. Okay. So we now have the image is rendered. Yeah. Back to where it was. We then have a bunch of images for some of the tools. Okay. So that's good we've got both names and we can clean that up in a bit okay so on the left side we've got we want to we want to then join There's nothing on the left side so we picked it up for all of them we've got some on the right side but we've got no yeah so they all matched on the left side so I guess we can then join again but this time we want to join on no we don't have I think we, we don't have the delete that we want to then bring it back together afterwards because I think we're going to need another select here and if we bring in here we can choose to, to select all and what we want is tool ranking name and then it was anchor was the next one so if we bring in that and again join it here and then to do so by was it by anchor and then by file name let's just have a look at this data to anchor in and out yeah so we want to bring in the file that yep and then I don't know about this small background it just says background and then icon okay so let's Let's repeat that for all of them. Okay, and we bring in this. And we want to change this to be background. Bring in that. And here, obviously, it's missing, so we change it to background. And then we paste again. So this will be building them up to each of the images. This time we want to change it to icon and here this thing here icon. Okay, so that then should give us it all, and then we can then multi-join. We go back to the preparation. So multi join multiple. We start at the top here. don't need is the tool rank name but everything else do we need anchor or we can leave it for now and then decide over it tool rank tool rank okay let's put in a browse and see what mess we've got on the end of it well it doesn't like it all oh, impacts must be configured at least one field ah usually helps let's stop that oh. Okay, so we want to rank tool rank all the way across, we'll do. Okay, so it's rendering. Look, we've got, let's just make this wider. Yep, so we've got each one in. So have we got one with a drive time? It's only showing me the top 2010. So we, we have the right format. By the looks of it, and I can't find one with a um, we need a spatial something like a 
the distance one is what we want. Oh, uh, that one doesn't. We just want to make sure. Ah, here we are. Target one. It's got the drive time in the image in it. Brilliant. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. So we've got the images there. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.